Hi, I'm Scott Stein, Senior Associate Editor at CNET.com, and this is the Samsung NPR580 JSB1US. Every year we take a look at various retail laptop configurations for users uh, to find out which ones may be out there that we haven't talked about that present a particularly great combination of value for your money. Well, we don't normally see Samsung laptops available at all, and this mainstream one is part of a, a recent laptop released by Samsung and uh, was a retail configuration that has a fantastic value for its cost. For only $829, the MPR580 includes 500 gigs on the hard drive, 4 gigs of RAM, a Core i5 processor, which is one of Intel's new Core i uh, processor lineup, and also includes an NVIDIA GeForce 310M processor, which is really great discrete graphics if you want to do some casual or mainstream gaming. It even includes a Blu-ray drive, so it really covers all bases, and, and at $829, it's at least $150 cheaper than similarly configured models, and of course we were wondering, would it be as good as advertised? Well, the 15.6 inch screen, the screen was perfectly great for us for, for viewing movies, for, for editing, and, and, uh, and casual office work. The brightness was nice. The keyboard is a full keyboard along with a semi-squish number pad we've seen before on models from Asus that is actually very comfortable to type on, sort of a raised chiclet style keyboard that's becoming very popular, um, with the exception of the arrow keys over here that are a little bit squished on the side and are a little hard to locate. And the trackpad is okay. Uh, it's, a, it's a matte trackpad that is flush with the rest of the laptop. One really cool thing is there are four blue LED lights, one in each corner of the trackpad, that let you see it in low lighting conditions. Sometimes it's hard to make out where your trackpad is when it's not inset on its own. One thing we really didn't like is the button beneath the trackpad, which is really narrow and flush, and one of those rocker types, so you can't figure out where the discrete buttons are. We found it really hard to locate when we were typing and using the laptop. However, it's hard to quibble at this value. You know, the outside appearance is pretty attractive, too. It has a, uh, a 3D type of a pattern uh, with this touch of color type design, uh, not unlike what we've seen in Samsung HD TVs. Certainly attracts fingerprints, but you know, it's not unattractive, and it's actually surprisingly lightweight. Our one knock on the laptop is it has under three hours of battery life, which is a letdown. But hopefully you can forgive it for this price and just keep it plugged in near an outlet. Rounding out the Samsung laptop, it actually has a great selection of ports. It's got VGA, HDMI, it even has an eSATA combo port if you want to plug in a hard drive. It's got an express card slot. I mean, it really covers a lot of bases, more than we see in many laptops, and will provide you pretty much with about everything that you need short of a FireWire port. I'm Scott Stein, and this is the Samsung NP R580 JS V1 US.